The PlayStation Portable is the first portable device in the Sony PlayStation series. It was initially released in Japan on December 12, 2004, followed by its North American release on March 24, 2005. It's part of the seventh generation of consoles. When it was released, it was a direct competitor with the Nintendo DS. It would have also been a competitor with the Nokia N-Gage, but the N-Gage was such a pale of fail that it had to go stand in the corner wearing bozo pants. What? What? Uh, anyway. The PlayStation Portable isn't just for playing games, it was marketed heavily as a new Walkman device as well, with the ability to play videos and music files. Some popular games for the PlayStation Portable include Twisted Metal, Head On, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, Final Fantasy VII, Crisis Core, Monster Hunter Portable III, Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker, and Metal Gear Acid. The PSP has dual R4000-based 333MHz RISC CPUs. The GPU runs at 166MHz on a 512-bit bus. It is capable of rendering 35 million polygons per second. The graphics system can use regular polygonal 3D graphics as well as non-uniform rational B-spline geometry or NURBS. NURBS! Earlier models have 32 megabytes of system RAM, while later models have 64 megabytes. An additional 2 megabytes of RAM is used with the media processor, and it has 2 megabytes of dedicated video memory. The unit's battery ranges between 1200 and 1800 milliamp hours, providing an average of 4 and a half hours of gameplay. And its video resolution is 480 by 272 on a 4.3 inch LCD screen. The unit features Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity as well as infrared on one model. It uses flash memory in the form of Sony's proprietary Memory Stick Duo. It also features a USB 2.0 port and has built-in stereo speakers with a headphone jack. Games are stored on Sony's proprietary Universal Media Disc, or UMD, which holds 900 megabytes on a single-layer disc and up to 1.8 gigabytes on the dual-layer variety. It is very similar to a mini-DVD, but it uses a surrounding case with a protective shutter. This makes handling discs easier when using the system on the go, and it keeps discs from getting scratched. The startup sound is quite brief and has two segments, much like the original PlayStation and the PlayStation 2. Just as with those consoles, there is the initial boot sound and another sound that plays once a game disc is detected. The boot sound is 4 seconds long, and the disc detection sound lasts 2 seconds. It is comprised mostly of a synth lead instrument, a synth pad, and a guitar strum. The lead instrument in the initial boot sound is a typical bell-style synth. I recreated it in Z3TA plus 2 with a couple of saws and a sine wave mixed together. I adjusted the frequency cutoff on the filters to soften the tone a lot, and the envelope has a very slight fade in on the attack and a release that gives it a bell quality. Last of all, I gave it a low frequency oscillator with a bit of a delay to modulate the pitch, giving it a little vibrato. The notes for the lead are C, G, C, G, and B. That's C8, G7, C8, G8, and B8. For the underlying pad synth, I just duplicated the lead synth I'd created and added a longer attack and release, and the filter was adjusted slightly to soften the tone a little bit further. On the disc detection portion of the sound, the lead goes very quickly from C8 to B7, and the pad plays a G7, D8, and a G8 together. On both the lead and the pad synths, I caked on a bunch of reverb and then some stereo chorus, as well as tweaking the EQ. And for that guitar strum, I used a 12-string guitar sample. The notes for that strum are F4, A4, C5, E5, and G5, which is an F major 9th. I put a little bit of reverb on that guitar and adjusted the EQ slightly. 
Alright, so, um, there's a subtle guitar slide sound effect with a very heavy phaser effect and delay underneath all of that during the disc detection sound. It's that bit in the background that you hear going, wow, 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 wow. Alright, so I know my recreation isn't 100% sample perfect. There's some subtle differences in there, but this is close enough to describe how it's put together. Well, that about wraps it up for the PlayStation Portable startup sound. Over 76 million units were sold worldwide. The unit was discontinued in 2014, and its successor was the PlayStation Vita, released in 2011. And just a heads up, since the PlayStation Vita does not have a startup sound, I will not have a video on that system. Alrighty, thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, take care.